Good morning everyone and welcome to our Lent Bible readings here on Wednesday the 17th of March, St Patrick's Day. Um, welcome as we gather together to read God's Word. This morning we're going to be reading the first 21 verses from John chapter 10. So let's hear God's Word together. I tell you the truth, anyone who sneaks over the wall of a sheepfold rather than going through the gate must surely be a thief and a robber. But the one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him. The sheep recognise his voice and come to him. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. After he has gathered his own flock, he walks ahead of them and they follow him because they know his voice. They won't follow a stranger. They will run from him because they don't know his voice. Those who heard Jesus use this illustration didn't understand what he meant. So he explained it to them. I tell you the truth, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me were thieves and robbers, but the true sheep did not listen to them. Yes, I am the gate. Those who come in through me will be saved. They will come and go freely and will find good pastures. The thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd sacrifices his life for the sheep. A hired hand will run when he sees a wolf coming. He will abandon the sheep. Because he's working only for the money and doesn't really care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own sheep and they know me. Just as my father knows me and I know the father. So I sacrifice my life for the sheep. I have other sheep too that are not in this sheepfold. I must bring them also. They will listen to my voice and there will be one flock with one shepherd. The Father loves me because I sacrifice my life so I might take it up again. No one can take my life from me. I sacrifice it voluntarily. For I have the authority to lay it down when I, when I want to and also to take it up again. For this is what my Father has commanded. When he said these things, the people were again divided in their opinion about him. Some said, he's a demon possessed and out of his mind. Why listen to a man like that? Others said, this doesn't sound like a man possessed by a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? Amen. And we're going to pause there at the end of verse 21. It's again another well-known passage of Jesus speaking about him being the shepherds, about him being the gateway to the, the sheepfold. Um, but the verse I want to focus on um, is in verse 9. Whenever Jesus says, yes, I am the gate, those who come in through me will be saved. They will come and go freely and find good pasture. And then the other bit in verse 10, my purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. There's many people who would say that Christian life is a one of rules and regulations. Oh, you must do this and you mustn't do that. But it's not. Living, following Christ, being a Christian, is about having freedom. It's about having liberty. It's about enjoying life completely and fully because we are set free from our slavery to sin. And then, as Jesus puts it himself, it's so that we can have a rich and satisfying life. It's knowing that God made us, he created us. He wants us to serve him, yes, he, but he wants us to enjoy him. He wants us to know the pleasure of having him as our Lord and Saviour, as our God. And being able to, to realise that we are loved and we are cared for and that there is an eternity for us. There is something better than this life waiting for us. Because this life is flawed. It's flawed by us. It's flawed by sin. But after this life, we can have the pleasure, the joy, the amazing experience of living with God in heaven. That's why Jesus says um, he, he wants us to come and go freely to good pasture. He wants us to enjoy him and he wants us to give us a rich and satisfying life. So many people in this life feel that there's something missing. They feel that there should be more to this life. Well, there should be. And that's a personal relationship with God. When we have that then we start to feel, feel fulfilled. We start to know what this life is all about. 
we start to realise that we are made so that we can enjoy God, we can worship him and we can have that daily experience of him in our lives. Do you have that? Do you know that? Do you want to know that? All you've got to simply do is turn to God. Do you Have you done that but right now you feel that life's getting on top of you? Well, you're not alone. God is with you. He's there to help you and to carry you through. He's there to help you with all the ups and the downs. you just got to trust him and rely upon him. Because he is the one who will care for us, who will feed us, who will protect us. The one who is our good shepherd. Let's pray this morning. Father, thank you again for your word this morning. Thank you again that we can do this, that we can meet together. Lord, this is St. Patrick's Day, a day whenever so many people around the world, but particularly here in Ireland, celebrate St. Patrick, the person who is credited with bringing religion to this island, who's credited with um, sharing religion with the world and, and bringing a transforming power, but a power that wasn't his own, a power that was your power. Lord, thank you that we don't live in our own strength, but in your strength. Thank you that we do not wander aimlessly as sheep without a shepherd. But Father, we have your son Jesus as our shepherd, the one who looks after us and who cares for us and who protects us. Lord, just help us to take our strength from you, to rely upon you, to follow the leading that you give us. Lord, help us to enjoy that life and life to fill because it's lived through you. Lord, continue with us now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. It's been good to have you online. Um, just a wee reminder that tonight uh, there's no Bible study because we have a presbytery rally at half seven. Um, it'll be here on Facebook. It'll also be on our YouTube channel as well. It's from the Council for Mission in Ireland about the work that they do within Ireland. Um, just to give a bit more information and Frank Seller's going to talk about that as well. And there's some worship as well. So please, if you can, join in at half seven. If you can't at that time, it's going to be up on our platforms. Um, so you can watch it at whatever time at a later date that you want to. But in the meantime, take care and God bless.